everyone, it's Maeve. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how I made these three decorative jars from polymer clay inspired by mermaids and the ocean. I started by covering the jar with a thin layer of Fimo liquid and evening up the neck of the jar by wrapping a strip of clay around it. Then I cut out lots of circles and dusted them with mica powders in three different colours for a gradient effect. If you don't have mica powders, you can also use shimmery eyeshadow. I cleaned all the fallout and picked the circles up by sliding a blade underneath. After smoothing down all the edges, I dusted the clay around the neck of the jar with matching mica powders and proceeded to place all the circles around the jar. After applying Fimo liquid on the base, I wrapped a strip of gold polymer clay around it. I blended triangles onto the clay to match the shape between the scales and poked lots of tiny holes. I then dusted it with gold mica powders for extra sparkle. After baking it for 30 minutes at 110 degrees Celsius, I added some purple paint to enhance the contrast and glazed it a couple of times for a beautiful glossy finish. For the second jar I also cut out lots of circles, but this time I used translucent polymer clay and I used a crochet hook to texture them. I coloured them with mica powders with a purple tint to them and then added purple on the top edge. When the mermaid scales were ready, I placed them on the jar previously coated with Fimo liquid. After baking the jar for 30 minutes at 110 degrees Celsius and letting it cool down, I glazed the scales for a beautiful glossy finish. With the third jar I wanted to do something different so I wrapped the neck with a sheet of light purple clay and using a craft knife I cut the clay to give it a coral like shape. I used a toothbrush to give a general texture and dotting tools in different sizes to poke lots of tiny holes. Lastly, I used a needle tool to get extremely small holes, try not to touch any of the other holes already made. Next I began to sculpt some barnacles using white clay and bonding them to the jar with Fimo liquid.
I use dotting tools and a toothbrush to texture it. After making space with a large bowl tool, I added a ball of clay and gave it more detail with a pointy tool. There are lots of different types of barnacles and sometimes you find them hollow as well, so I varied it up a bit. I wanted this jar to feel as if it had fallen into the sea and creatures had started to grow on it and loose mermaid scales landed nearby, causing the barnacles to grow over them, securing them to the jar. I made the scales in the same way I did for the second jar, but baking them for 15 minutes first. Once I had made all the barnacles, I baked the jar for 30 minutes at 110 degrees Celsius. Once cool, I used acrylic paints to add colour. Once the paint was dry, I glazed the barnacles with a matte varnish and the scales with a gloss varnish. Now you can use the jars to store your sculpting tools, your makeup brushes, you can use them as flower vases or even to keep the seashells you brought back from the beach. If you liked this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you all so much for watching, have a great week and I'll see you very soon. Bye! Ciao ciao!